I finally got to ring the bell. Uh, hey. It took 26 years to get up here. Oh, we got Nancy. <laughs> You should have did the presidential music or something. Well, welcome to the first uh, meeting of my uh, presidency or whatever you want to call it, July 12th. It's exciting. It's going to be a great year. I am really, really looking forward to it. Uh, one of the things that I want to mention to you, those of you that might not have been at the installation banquet, um, I want to thank you for the opportunity um to uh help run our uh club this year uh some of the things i want to focus on heavily and you're going to see this every time you walk in here in the next few weeks um my goal is to promote a lot of awareness on what is going on in our club um how do we enhance communication um how do we increase our participation in volunteering for our club you know, we're not here just to have lunch every Friday. We're here to to fellowship with others. We're here to to promote the club, uh, help the community. So I really, really want to in increase participation because, you know, we have a select few that do a lot of the work. And uh, my goal is just to help everybody get involved. But I also want to help promote the club in terms of our membership and looking for leaders. Uh, if we have a lot of followers, then we kind of get stuck. And so that's one of the things that we really want to focus on this year. So I thank you. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. It's going to be exciting, uh, exciting year. If there's anything that you all need, want, opinions, whatever, please, please let me know. Uh, we're going to start seeing up on the board here when you walk in, what's coming up next? How can you volunteer? How can you participate? Because, you know, in the past, you know, I joined the club in 1998. I mean, there were many years I didn't really know what was going on. You know, I didn't necessarily read the newsletter, the reflections like I should. Hopefully you all will. Um, but you're gonna see up here, line by line, here's what's going on. Here's how you can participate. And just try, the communication is really, really important. Um, we do have an invocation by Sonna Robinson, a uh, pledge and four-way test by Michael Kaplan and Happy Bucks by Kip Dotson. One of the things I want to mention before I have Sonna come up is there was a lot of discussion over the last week um, about, you know, um, having candidates speak, political candidates. What I want to read to you is in the Constitution uh, which is why we're having table talks today. In the Constitution, it says we are not to have any endorsements. The club shall not endorse or recommend any candidate for political office. Now, remember, this is the club, so we cannot sponsor anybody. We can't ask for somebody as a candidate. If they're in office and we want to get an address on what's going on in our community, it's totally different. So we shall not have any club meaning or merits uh, of any such candidate. So just remember that as a club, we can't do that because we're getting into the political environment coming up. So that's why we're not having candidates this week and next week. So anyway, Sana, all yours. I'm gonna try really hard not to be political. <laughs> Will you please bow with me? Father God, our creator and protector, we come to you today with hope for the future, the future of our club, of our community, and of our country. As we celebrated last week the birth of our nation so many years ago, we celebrate daily the rebirth that you show us in every sunrise and every opportunity for leadership and public service. We're thankful for those who will guide us through the coming year with confidence and expertise. Please be with President Steve as he begins his term today and with his excellent board and officers who will help us achieve our goals in fundraising, fellowship, and giving back. 
We praise you with gratitude for allowing our club to borrow the talent and effort of those who serve Rotary and you daily. Be with those who can't be with us today due to infirmary or illness and those who are mourning loved ones. Thank you for this club, its members, and the nourishment you provide us for growth individually and as a club today and in the days to come. We ask in Christ's name, amen. And now will everybody join me in the pledge to our flag. Pledge of allegiance. Flag. Now the four-way test of what we think, say, and do. First, second, third, and fourth. Certainly hope so. All right, now for uh, guests and visiting Rotarians, normally Jennifer Ruane, our new secretary, would do this, but she is tied up, and Laura Troop is going to introduce our guests. We have a lot of guests to introduce today. I'm going to start right here with Doug Wright. Doug has been orientated, oriented. I don't know. He's been, he's at least facing the correct direction. Um, and will be joining us. He is a former Rotarian from California and he is joining us here. So welcome to Doug. <laughs> chew, chew quickly. <laughs> Jason Holt has a guest. I'll let him. Yeah, with me today is Joanne Brundage. She's with Realty One. She specializes working with seniors uh, to downsize, or she likes to say right size. So if that's you or you have any parents that are looking uh, to move, you know, make sure you connect with her, get to know her. Great realtor. Thanks. Welcome. Traverse across the way to Miss Sana, who has a guest. I'll let her introduce. Mr. Nick. Uh, friends, this is David DeMarco. He uh, has been at our club before with Steve Passan, who uh, works for Car Riggs Ingram. David has just retired as a partner and CPA at Car Riggs Ingram. So I think he needs something to do on Friday. So I decided to, to bring him along today. I think he'd be a great prospect for our club. Uh, in, now, I have to be really quiet about this, but I'll whisper. He's also running unopposed as a as a uh, commissioner for Oak Hill. So if anybody lives in Oak Hill <laughs> and you are able to vote, go vote often. Thank you. Welcome. And Mark McFerrin is next, and he has two guests with him. That's a violation. Just want you to know, but it's a good violation. Let me start by saying something about court. <laughs> Snooper out, I'll tell you that. All right, I got Brad Glosinger. He's come back. Uh, he's in uh, uh, real estate healthcare development. Uh, and good friend. We do a lot of life together. Glad you're here. And then David McQuitty. He's, uh, you may re recognize the name McQuitty, McQuitty Prenny, because Bart is the longest living employee ever, or wherever he is, of David McQuitty. It was a 100-year-old company, and now it's under PRISM, I think is how you pronounce it, uh, in that bit. So they both came as my guests. Because he wasn't here, Courtney, and I did not read your follow-up email. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome, guys. And Harold has a guest. I trust his buddy, Stuart. What would you say, Matt? Um, I just really met him the last week, so I have I don't know uh, a lot about him, but he's a good he's a good guy, good friend now, and. Uh, Please welcome Buddy Stewart. And then we have a returning guest, a prospective Rotarian. Um, and this is Chris Hammond. Have a seat. I mean, have a stand. Chris Hammond um, is joining us again. He is considering um, becoming a member. And so we'd like to take an opportunity to get to know him today. And then finally, I have a guest today, again, because Courtney was going to come, I went ahead and invited my friend Melissa. Melissa is um, is a friend who has kids my age and kids in the school system, but Melissa's running for 7th District School Board, which I'm not allowed to talk about today, but if you're going to vote, today's the first day of early voting. But 
That's Sheila District. Okay. So, and, and I just want to take a moment to say thank you to Sheila for serving our community so well. And I know she's excited to roll off, but she's done a great job. So, yay. But anyway, thank you for all of our guests. Thanks for joining us today. I think that's everybody. Is there anyone I missed? All right. I did it. Thank you, Laura. Appreciate that. Now we have happy bucks. Kim. All right. Who's happy? Who's happy? happy. Who's happy? Come on, Devin, reaching for his wallet. That, yeah, the, the 50 is fine. Oh, the five will do. Bye -bye. But I only have two things I'm going to say. One, I am so happy today, and I didn't realize I was going to be this happy um, until I walked in the door. And one is my friend Harold is back. Harold, I love seeing you here. If you don't know, Harold sponsored me into the club and has known me probably longer than anyone else in the room. So we have a very long car trip in about 1981 to Hilton Head when I was about this tall um, that he had to deal with me for. And then a really bad case of sunburn, but he may not remember that story. Uh, the other reason is that my good friend, Sunday school classmate, and the mother of my daughter's best friend is here. Melissa Wyatt's here, who you were just introduced to. I can't say enough good things about the person she is and the person her husband is. So it was great to see her here as well. Outstanding. Oh, right. I got to him first. I should have been ladies first. I agree. I have three things I'm happy about. Stephen Coase, Marcia Show, and Shay. Putting this dollar in for my good friend, Sheila Cleveland, to say thank you for your service. Yes. So I found out over the weekend that my brother is now having his third daughter. So oh, now yeah. I have five nieces. So I'm really excited. All right. There's a lot of people moving to our town, and the gate's still open, right? No, it should be. <laughs> and I'll just say this to those of you who just answered to me. Shame on you if you give the impression that no one's welcome, okay? I've run into a lot of people from out of town. Most of us are from out of town. we got to have that, that idea that the gate is still open. All right. One of the people that's snooping us out is this guy right here, Danny Garcia. A military guy for a lot of years. He's 78. He has spent his life for many, many years, since 95, walking around the world on behalf of world peace and children. 52 million steps in six different continents. He's the real deal. I met him five months ago. Been walking with him. He's the kind of guy he liked being around, including his wife, Jackie, retired lieutenant colonel. They, they flew in this morning. They're here for a week to snoop the place out. He just released this book, Marines Don't Cry, and it's his story. I've got hosting him tomorrow morning in Brentwood at a men's event that's open to anybody at 7 a.m. on Granny White. If you're interested in coming, I'll give you the address, 7 a.m., guys. And if anybody wants one of his books, I'll be happy to give it to you. He's the real deal. Danny, Danny Garcia, the walking Marine. I've got two. Uh, January 27th was the uh, first anniversary of the stroke that I had last year. And on that same day, I had an appointment with my neurologist. She checked everything out. She said, you're good. See you in a year. The other one is that um, I'm going to miss the next two meetings, I'm sorry to say. But next Friday morning, 7 a.m., we're lifting off for Alaska for a 10-day small boat cruise in southeast Alaska in the glaciers. So never been to Alaska before, but I'm sure looking forward to it. And I'll have some good stories, I hope. Yeah, um, good luck on that Alaska thing. Hey. I just wanted to make an important announcement. Um, 
approximately 182 days from now, Ole Miss wins the national title in football. <laughs> that should have been five bucks, I think. At least. Well, I'm not running for anything, so I know I can say whatever I want. Uh, some of you know I have daughters, and I haven't given an update in a while, but I have two daughters. Uh, for many years, I talked about their exploits and their traffic issues, but they've been they've been off of my insurance for 20 years, and in that 20 years, they haven't had a wreck. Uh, <laughs> uh, they got it all out of their system early. But an update on the two girls. The older daughter, Michelle, has been a TV news producer in Raleigh, North Carolina for several years. She's accepted a position with the parent company, which is Spectrum News, uh, in New York City. So she and her husband are going to split their time between New York and Raleigh. Um, so that's a big change for her. Uh, our second daughter, Melissa, is a U.S. prosecutor in Denver. Uh, she also addresses international cases, uh, anything having to do with Colorado. And she is currently prosecuting a torture case where the torture took place in the Gambia but they caught the guy in Colorado. Wow. So she just got back from two weeks in the Gambia interviewing witnesses and victims. So it's a it's the first time that this sort of international case has been handled in the United States. So it's a landmark case, and we're interested to see how it turns out. Thank you very wow. much. That's impressive. Oh. Did I miss anybody? Yep. Here we go. I have an IOU for next week, I promise. Uh, I have two things. Uh, last week, um, I was able to go to Mexico for the first time. And when I like to travel international, I like to go by myself. It's always a great way to get myself out of my comfort zone, meet some really cool people, and have some memories to tell about it. Uh, I was able to, my trip did get cut short, unfortunately, because Hurricane Burl, but had a great time out with some dolphins. That's the first thing I'm happy about. The second thing, when I joined the club a couple years ago, the one thing that I mentioned is that I really enjoyed getting to know people in relationships. And last week I had a great time with, uh, with Norris and it's really great when you meet somebody and you have a conversation with them and you're like, Oh my gosh, man, we've been talking for three hours and it seemed like five minutes and I can't say enough good things about this man. I'm really excited to get to know him more. And he's just a Renaissance man. So such a pleasure uh, to get to know you Norris. Thanks. All right, Zach and Norris. Anyone else? Lots of happiness today. Back to you, Prezi. All right, we're going to have a couple announcements before I bring Larry up. I want everybody to put on their calendar. Um, August 3rd, we're going to have a meet the president at my house. If you don't want to meet me, come to meet some other people. <laughs> I live right off Concord Road. What time is it, Michelle? 6.30-ish? 6.30-ish? 6 to 8. You cannot stay after nine because I'll be getting ready for bed. Go out today. All right. And that is a Saturday night, Friday night. Saturday night. Okay. So, <laughs> August 3rd. Remember that August 3rd. So some will go out. It'll be in the uh, reflections newsletter. Also, uh, Larry Kane's going to come make an announcement and then Mike Barrett right after Larry. You know, happy books to be our program. <laughs> um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the golf tournament real quick for you guests who are here. This is our uh, eighth annual golf tournament. It is our major fundraiser for our club. Uh, in the first seven years, we've raised five hundred and seventy thousand dollars. All of that, all of that money has gone back into our community in the form of uh, gifts to organizations and scholarships. So we're we're hard and heavy after it this year, uh, but we got a little work to do. And the president speaking earlier about involvement, participation, dead on, brother. Thank you for saying that. I'm going to get back here so I can see these numbers. First of all, this is where we are as of today. We've raised $106,000, which sounds pretty good. Our goal was $150,000 to make our, make our goal for this year is $150,000. We still have outstanding, as you can see there, a number of sponsorships, uh, the Holding One sponsors, Cart Pass sponsors, Premium Hole, et cetera. Uh, that were sold last year. Well, somebody in this room or in our club sold those sponsorships last year, and there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to get them back again this year, hopefully. So that's $11,000 right there. 
There are 52 whole sponsors, which is our in most inexpensive, not our teachers, our most inexpensive uh, sponsorship at $350. There's 52 of those that are outstanding from last year. Not new ones, but ones that people saw last year. That's $19,000. So we got $31,000 outstanding in sponsorship that we sold last year that we should be able to sell this year, a back, a whole. Then we also have our A-team, which I won't get into all that, but you all know who the A-team is, Curry, Jared, Michael, and they'll have a big contribution, hopefully enough to make up that difference between the 43 and the 31. So we'll see how it goes. So I think we're okay, but we got 58 days, and that scares me. So we got to get on it. we got to get on it pretty quick. Here's, here's where our problem is and what the president said earlier. So go so through right here. Our projection every year, we, we want to have 95% of our members participate. Okay, that means you sell a sponsorship. 2019, we hit 90, which was our tie, high at that point. That was wonderful. Then in 22, we were down to 81. Kind of disappointing. Last year, we were at 72% participation. 90 in 2019, 72 last year. Today, as I stand here, we're at 37% of our members. We have... All you mathematicians, we have 100 members in our club. So how many people have bought sponsorships? <laughs> we have 37% participation. We have got to get that up. All those, the 72%, we can certainly get to that. I'd love to get to 90, but we've got to get this up, and that's all in us. Just us making money for our club, getting money into our club. Got a couple of folks, a few folks here I want to recognize for what they've done. And you'll see Kaplan up there and Andrews, they're both in the 18, but they've had great starts. Kaplan's got six sponsorships sold for 5000 bucks. Curry Andrews got four sold for $24,850. He did have one pretty good size one in there of 15000 Ray Littles had four at 6000 Tom Carth had three for 11000 And McClendon's had three at 4200 So those are our leaders right now as we sit today. They've done a great job. So give them a round of applause. So there's 52,000 of our 105,000. So that's half of what we did came from those five people. So again, participation and activation from our membership. I'm not going to say anything about this list because I talk about it all the time. It's on your table. This is a list of potential sponsors. As I say, every time I show this list, you know somebody on this list. You don't have to call on a stranger to raise money. You know somebody on this list is a good potential sponsor. Take a look at it and see. There's all kinds of crazy things on there, but I guarantee you there's somebody on this list, probably multiple people that you know. You don't have the list I gave you the first year. If you need it, call me or call your team captain and get the list out again and just look down that list, and I guarantee you, you can, guarantee you can uh, spot spot. Lastly, I didn't hand this out earlier, but this is an elevator speed. This is also on your table, and this is what, uh, this is what when somebody says, well, I don't know really what to say to somebody when I'm going to tell a sponsorship. Well, this is just kind of an example that this guy says, Joe, his friends, my Rotary Club having his annual golf tournament, and I want you to be a sponsor. I've got a lot of sponsorships ranging from $350 to $5,000, all of which have been, um, uh, all of which have your company name and your name on the, uh, on your side. Um, the price just determines how much exposure you want. Joe says, okay, but what's the tournament for? That's a great question, Joe. 100% of the net proceeds from this tournament go to our foundation, which distributes these to our charities, majority of which are right here in Williamson County, and to our high school scholarship program. As I mentioned earlier, in the first seven years, we've paid out over $570,000. We have a great website, www.brentwoodrotary.com. Go on that, get anything you want to know about our about our Go on there, sign up, pay, enjoy, Everything you need to know about our golf tournament's on that list. So what do you think? Joe says, well, thank you for asking. I'll be a sponsor. Let me just check out the list. So it's just a routine conversation. You're not beating him up saying, I need money. You're asking to help you and help your club with the things that we do good in our community. And we do a lot of good stuff. So you're going to hear from me more often over the next few weeks. Let's have a, a good two or three weeks here. Guys, get out and get those sponsors that we had from last year. If you get new ones, get new ones. We'll take those too. Any questions about that? Golf tournament? You mean from last year or from this year? 
Well, here, here's the problem with that. Yes, to answer your question, yes, I have a list. I don't like to take a little bit. But I don't want that list to get out. Because if Laura, who runs a great guy, if Laura, I'm going to do this, with me, but if Laura wanted to, or who the money goes to, well, on our on our application, we've got the five major and there's no way of doing it. We do 31 communities. We did 31 communities fine. We can, I'm sure we can make that. Yeah. But we, we, and if you didn't, if you don't remember, we do have five major sponsors. We identify every year every year, so it's ten thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars. And then we do our community sponsors, which is fifteen hundred and under, and we had thirty-one of those. There. So we've got a sponsor that we I meant beneficiary. Yeah. 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 If that would help you, I'll get that. Anybody, anybody else? Help us out, guys. We need we need to work hard these next fifty eight days. Thank you. Afternoon, my friends. Yogi Berra once said, "Oh, well, if somebody in here doesn't know who Yogi Berra was, so ask somebody at your table." Yogi Berra said one time. Uh, you better be careful if you don't know where you're going, you might not get there. President Hammers just said this year he's going to emphasize and enhance what we do as a club, where we're going. He's got goals. He's got directions where we're going. Guys, <clears throat> Larry Kane just said, just said, we have about 100 members, and 37 of our 100 have participated, have done something for our golf tournament. Now, I don't know about you. When I was in school, I had a test. I made a 37 on it. Uh, it wasn't something I was supposed to go home and tell my mama, okay? Now, some of you have been in this club a year. Some of you have been in this club 10 years. Some of you have been in this club 30 years. Harold Fogan, how many years have you been in this club? My man, Norris, how many years have you been in this club? If there's a person in this room who's not proud to be a part of this club, would you please stand? If there's a person in this room who was not proud to be a part of this club a few weeks ago when we gave out scholarships, would you stand? Or a few weeks ago when we gave out grants, if you weren't part, proud to be a part of that, would you please stand? Listen, Larry Kane gets up here every week. Let me tell you something about Larry Kane. Larry Kane doesn't get real excited about public speaking. He does it. Oh, and we have not, have we conversed before today? We've not talked about it. This is very Im impromptu. My man Larry has not asked me to say this, to come up here. But guys, come on. He just said 37%. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? <laughs> this is what you looked like when and, and there was another heading. I asked Lance to change it. This is what you looked like when your mama called you by your full name. Larry Kane may not get up here and call off the names of everybody who does not contribute and be a part of our golf tournament. He may not do that. But if Larry Kane asked me to do it, it might just be a different story. Guys, we need to do our part. I mean, seriously. This golf tournament, I'm, I'm grateful that Larry is still pumped. 
and is pumped week after week after week to do this. There's not a person in this room who knows the amount of time and the amount of work, but there's one person in this room. One person in this room that knows how much work and how much time Larry Kane puts into this, and that's Larry Kane. He's the only person. Now, we got other people do a lot of work. Susie does a lot of work. Michael right here does a lot of work. There's people behind the scenes that do a lot of work, but there's a lot of us that don't even touch the tip of the iceberg. So if we want to continue to be proud of our club and do things in our community, the success of this golf tournament is vital. It's vital. So, yeah, I'm up here preaching. I know. Larry Kane's not going to do this. I'm going to say, about an hour ago, about an hour and a half ago, I ran into Larry and Roxanne Boyd. There's a lot in this room that don't know who Larry Boyd is. Larry Boyd is a member of the Brentwood Breakfast Club. He is a past district governor from Brentwood. Okay? I ran into them about an hour and a half ago. We were talking. Larry said this. There's an old rotary slogan saying, I want you to understand, I want you to hear what I'm saying. I want you to hear it very clearly. Okay? This is quoted. There's a rotary saying, guys, now, if you have never sold anything in your life, those of you that never sold anything, and I haven't asked, I don't even see Curry, I don't know if Curry's here, there's Jerry Tanksley. I'll be willing to say, I'll set it up. If you need a small sale seminar on how to sell a sponsorship, come see me because I'll go get that guy right there. I'll go get Curry. And I don't think they'll tell me no. Now, here's what Larry Boyd told, said to me a moment ago, a few minutes ago. There's a rotary saying, guys, we need to get our ask in here. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Uh, this golf tournament is a lot about what we're, what, what we're about. $570,000 in the last three years, all run by Larry, is all he's doing is ask. And this club is to service our community, and this golf tournament is the biggest thing we got. So please keep that in mind. Well, in the remaining 18 minutes, we are going to get to know each other better. Kip? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't have it on my schedule. Okay. All right, well, Kip, it's all yours. Nobody told me that. Sorry about that. <laughs> well, awesome. Yeah. You told me you weren't going to get initiated today. Yeah. Point of uh, order, we ahead. have 101 members. <laughs> <laughs> Come on up here, Sandra. Come on up here, Sandra. All right, join me today. We have not just added a member we've added it one with little sass sparkle spice that is perfectly leveled and has a perfect combination of service above self and she might even break into a song or a guitar solo um sandra lee is no stranger to the spotlight in fact she started her career in the glitzy city of las vegas as a ring girl for boxing matches yes you heard that right she's gone from announcing round two to orchestrating entire advertising campaigns and becoming a member of our club. That's right. And let me tell you, she gets a knockout in anything she can get engages in. Sandra was born in Las Vegas, the city that never sleeps, but she's traded the neon lights for the southern charm of Brentwood, Tennessee. Despite the change in scenery, she kept her boundless energy and zest for life. If you ever see her running around, it's probably because she's juggling 10 different projects in high heels, doing it with grit, grace, and a grin. 
She's proudly a graduate of UNLV, and her profession is basically, if you read her resume, it sounds like a, a mini series. She's worked sales, marketing, advertising, all while moonlighting as a television and radio producer. She shows, she does sideshows and gigs, doing stage performances, running a small independent label, a production company, just to name a few. Sandra's life is full of philanthropy as well. Sometimes, and one of the quotes I found in her media posting is, sometimes you got to do it your damn self. Pardon my French. But it's that blend of her Latino grit, heart, and determination that has brought her success into everything that she undertakes. Whether she's producing music videos, booking a band, or setting luxurious brands into her latest new venture, which is Modern Luxury Magazine, which she is leading the launch of coming up this fall. Um, whether she's producing all of that, uh, Sandra approaches everything with a relentless passion and drive. Now, you might think someone with such a busy work life like we just talked about wouldn't have time for much else, but Sandra proves us all wrong on that. She's deeply involved in a nonprofit named Men of Valor, a prison ministry, which I am involved in her with her as well. And she's also the founder of OLA of Tennessee, the Hispanic Organization for Leaders and Achievers and Achievers. Some of you may recall that she has spoken to our club and she focused on mentorship of Latinos and in, in creating uh, giving them an extremely good pathway into uh, our community. So her commitment is awesome. Um, speaking of humor, Sandra got uh, has that in spades. She's been known to quip now and then that I'm the Jill of all trades, master of none, but still working on it. And let me uh, not forget her musical talents. We have all heard about the 100 things you should do in Nashville. Well, there's now 101. You should go down and see her perform at the Commodore Grill right outside of Vanderbilt Stadium where she routinely performs with singer-songwriters in their songwriters' nights. It's amazing, it's a lot of fun. On top of all that, she's a fitness enthusiast. She has a fitness, she was a fitness competitor and gymnast back in the day and still works out every week. She loves everything when it comes to life. So let me give, just give a wonderful welcome to Sandra. Well, all right, not very tall. Uh, I'm even this short, even in these high heels. So you know how short I am. That was a really lovely, I wanna meet that person. That sounds like uh, somebody I would wanna meet. Um, I am just, uh, he told you everything about me. I also have two grown children, three grandchildren. I do live here in Brentwood. I've been in Brentwood for about uh, 15 years. I love this community. And I truly was interested when Kip invited me uh, in this, in becoming a member of the Rotary because of service over self. I uh, have been involved with a lot of network groups where everybody's just trying to sell everybody something. And uh, that isn't really how I operate. I love to operate by, uh, by giving back to the community and those of us who are in leadership roles and who are blessed. I mean, sometimes I think about the way that we are blessed um, it's just, it's just overwhelming. And so I believe that our God, um, ordained, um, role is to give back to the community. So I'm really looking forward to being a part of this club. I hope that I can say, I don't know that I would make it like 48 years. I'm already getting, getting up there a little bit. Uh, but I hope to be a longtime member. And I'm really excited that I get to start with the new president on the same day that the new president starts. So this is very exciting for me. So thank you so much. And by the way, I do love to golf and I have uh, been a part of a lot of golf tournaments. And in fact, I'm in a Valor has one. So I'll try to jump into that. Sandra, on behalf of the club, we wanna thank, thank you for joining. We appreciate it. You're gonna be a huge asset. So here's your certificate. And at the end, I'll sign it for you. Okay. 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 Thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, 13 minutes. <laughs> we've done a lot today. I tell you what, here's what we're going to do. You've got a piece of paper on your table. 
pick a table captain. We're not going to stand up at the end and say what's the most exciting in this table because we don't have time. The objective is get to know each other. Whoever you determine who your captain is, read the questions off and just go around and just answer them as quickly as you can. Who you are, just go down the list, and we're going to do that until 1 o'clock, and then we'll be dismissed.
All right, guys. Sorry we didn't have too much time. It's it's one o'clock. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, I want to thank all of the all the guests. Uh Joanne, Brad, both Davis, Melissa, Doug, Chris, Buddy. Uh, thank you for coming. Sandra Lee, congratulations. Where did you go? Oh, she's gone already. Okay. Congratulations for joining the club. Um and I want to remind everybody, uh, I've had this plan for a long time. I'm going on a mission trip. Next week, Sarah is helping out. And then the 26th, Linus is helping out. So Sarah wanted to because she had some heart issues when she was president. So she's got a lot of makeups. Anyway, thank you. If there's nothing else for the good of Rotary, we are adjourned. Oh, hey, stack the chairs up. Please help out. Stack the chairs up. Eight, eight together.